we prepare kids for the future that they're going to face? Because I believe when these kids graduate high school, college, get their first jobs, I think the future is going to look radically different. It's going to change so fast, I don't think we can even predict what's going to happen. So how do we prepare them for that kind of world? So that question has obsessed me for the last six or seven years. And I feel like we're slowly stumbling on some solutions. We're working with portfolios that allow kids to find their voice. We've developed a way for kids to customize an approach to an assignment. So 20 kids can have the same assignment, but each find their own way into approaching that same assignment. But a large part of what we're doing is project-based learning, where we're asking kids to apply what they know and make something happen. We call it action-based learning because we're asking them to go even further than that and to make a real difference in the world. So one of our partners in this has been Stone Creek Middle School here in Edwards. And I'd like to introduce three of the students who've been working with this for quite a while. This is Conrad and Troy and Nicole. So my first question is to, to you, Conrad. Um, so you've, you're, you've just started working with project-based learning, and I'm wondering what the impact has been for you. Um, I've definitely become a better researcher because with my project, there wasn't too much about the topic that I was doing, net zero energy. So I had to go to some, just some sites that I wouldn't normally go to. So you start to think outside the box? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's taught me how to become a better leader and that a leader is not someone who is mean to their employees or bosses their group members around. They find everybody's strengths and make them work to and help them work together as a good group and make them feel empowered and that way your project will get done in a much more efficient and fast way. And it's taught me not to feel scared because deep inside of me I want ideas I want to be expressed but I'm always scared about being judged or being called different. And now I know that I don't have to worry about that. So let me ask you another question. You've been watching a lot of your friends go through this. You've been watching the whole class go through it. What kind of changes, I'll start with you, Nicole. What kind of changes have you seen in your friends and those that you've watched? Well, I have two personal friends that um, they're like anti-social. They really don't talk with anyone. But when the problem-based learning day comes, they're jumping off the walls. They're talking, they're interacting with everyone. They're totally different person. Um, my friends have so much more self-confidence because they feel that they can create an idea and no matter how crazy it may seem, no one will judge them and it ca they can make it into a great project that everyone will be very proud of. Well, my friends, we did a couple projects last year and when it came to the day to do it, they were all just bleh. And now, it, <laughs> and now when it comes to project-based learning day, they're all just bouncing off the walls and really happy, kind of like Nicole's friends. Let me ask you one more thing. Um, so, you know, the whole intention of this is to prepare you for the future and for what you're going to face in the future. So how do you feel like it's, has it prepared you for the road ahead, do you think? I really feel it has because in our future jobs, we're not going to be uh, doing huge algebra problems. We're going to be working on practical problems, and we're going to have to know how to put a plan together <laughs> and how to put that plan in action. I think what Troy said, you can't just sit at a table and say, I'm going to work on my personal problems for 30 minutes. You can't do that. <laughs> you have to think about what you're going to do in that moment. You have to think effectively and everything will turn out right. People should include more problem-based learning into their curriculums because it definitely prepares kids more for the world ahead of them. So thank you. I hope you enjoyed our dialogue. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.